Puffers are some of the most poisonous creatures on the planet. Since they are poisonous and not venomous, they have to be consumed before they can do any real harm. They have a number of natural defenses to stop predators from eating them. One of them is the fact that they can blow up in size. This ability is one of the reasons they are named pufferfish. Whenever puffers feel threatened by a predator, they fill their elastic stomachs with water until they are much larger and almost spherical. Usually, this is enough to deter would-be predators, and their larger size may signal that they are not worth attacking. However, this doesn't always work. The secondary defense mechanism is the presence of sharp spines on their skins, which radiate outwards when their bodies become inflated. In case the increased size is not enough, this is an additional signal that they are not worth eating. But then, let's say a predator tries its luck anyway. It might then run into trouble since the spikes might pierce its mouth and cause immense pain. As a great defense mechanism as these bodily spikes are, they are not always enough. Some predators have such powerful jaws that they won't be deterred by these in the least. And so this is where the final puffer defense mechanism comes in. These creatures have in their skin a powerful toxin known as tetrodotoxin. When consumed, tetrodotoxin causes muscle paralysis, which can worsen into respiratory collapse and then death. Despite the severity of these symptoms, puffers are considered a delicacy in countries such as Japan and are hunted and eaten. If prepared by an expert, the chance of any complications is low. But sometimes, due to inadequate preparation, people die after eating puffer meals. Number 8. Kat Khan A 57-year-old man by the name of Kat Khan ate a puffer fish along with his wife, 53-year-old wife Warm Pok, and their 18-year-old daughter Khan Rati. They had caught this fish in a nearby river, where many of the residents of their village commonly eat. This happened after an announcement from the Ministry of Health for people to avoid puffers due to their dangerous nature. Well, according to the district police chief Chong Turan, the family immediately became ill after their meal. They were sent to the Maimot District Referral Hospital. On the way there, the father Kat Khan died. However, his wife and child managed to make it to the hospital, where they were treated and discharged the following day. It's likely that Kat died because he ate the largest portion and therefore got poisoned by the largest amount of tetrodotoxin. Number 7. Yung Yet and Hong Saraf. This happened in the Kampong Spu province of Cambodia on May 26, 2020. Two men died and three others were taken to a hospital after they ingested poisonous puffer fish. The group caught the fish in a nearby dam before preparing it and eating it in their local commune along with wine. Soon after eating it, they began to feel the effects of the poison and they all started to vomit. Before the ambulance even arrived, one of the men died. The other man died on the way to the hospital. Other than them, a couple of dogs and chickens which ate parts of the fish also died. Of the survivors that recovered in the hospital were two women, Mao Seng and Van Sre Pich, and a man, Van Sampors. Number 6. By Dawi and Suhaina. A family of four caught a puffer fish in the early hours of the morning so as to use as their breakfast. However, their meal did not go as planned. The victims were a man known as Baidawi, his wife Suhaina, and their two sons, Mafud and Habihulo. Not long after they finished their meal, they began to exhibit weird symptoms. They felt dizzy, nauseous, and had a warm sensation in their throat, even though they were rushed to the early community health center. Both Baidawi and his wife Suhaina died. Upon further investigation, their son Mafud said that he did not know the puffer was dangerous. He said they had eaten some before, but this is the first time that the meal has actually poisoned them. They ate the meal without removing any of its internal toxic organs. Number 5. Large Group Almost Dies After Eating Puffer Fish This happened in Brazil on December 18, 2014. 
A group of 22 individuals gathered for lunch in Duque de Caxias, a city on the South Atlantic coast of Brazil. The man who caught the fish for the meal had many different creatures as part of his catch. Two of the creatures were puffer fish. Knowing that puffers were dangerous, he removed one of them, a large one, and returned it to the water. However, there was a smaller one in there that escaped his notice. He then handed the fish over to a woman who cooked the meal without noticing the puffer fish either. 20 minutes into the meal, 11 of the 22 individuals started experiencing strange symptoms like tingling or prickling sensations on their lips. This eventually worsened to nausea, vomiting, and muscle problems. They soon realized what was happening and were rushed to various hospitals by their friends. Miraculously, all of them were able to get treatment in time and survive the deadly meal. Number 4. Florida Man Almost Dies After Mixing Cocaine and Puffer Fish A 43-year-old man had a puffer fish meal with his grandmother days after ingesting cocaine. Within moments, he began to experience certain symptoms. His grandmother rushed him to the ER. When he arrived, his symptoms included vomiting, weakness, difficulty speaking, stomach pain, chest pain, and numb legs. He also had high blood pressure from the cocaine and chronic kidney disease. His grandmother was also exhibiting some symptoms, but because she had eaten less puffer fish than him, she was relatively fine. After receiving medication and treatment, the man's condition stabilized. His chronic medical conditions worsened, but the puffer fish poisoning was sufficiently treated. Number 3. Mr. G this incident happened on December 23, 2019. A Chinese fisherman known as Mr. G was sentenced to one year in prison for inadequately cooking puffer fish for his friend. The friend was 53-year-old Gao Zheng Ming. Mr. G said he agreed to his friend's request for a puffer fish despite having no expertise to prepare it appropriately. One hour after eating the meal, Gao Zheng Ming began to experience symptoms such as numbness in his lips and legs. These symptoms eventually worsened, causing his heart to stop completely, with his breathing coming to a halt. Mr. Gao was rushed to a nearby hospital, where he was treated to the point that his heart and his breathing were started again. In spite of this breakthrough, he remained in a vegetative state for six months. It is feared he may never wake up again. Number 2. Five Japanese Men Die After Eating Puffer Fish Although only licensed chefs are allowed to cook and sell puffer fish in Japan, deaths still occur. However, most consumers of this meal hardly care and prefer to play Russian roulette by eating the deadly meal. On March 2, 2015, five Japanese men in their 40s and 50s went to a Wakayama restaurant to eat the pufferfish meal known as fugu. Since a single pufferfish contains enough venom to kill up to 30 adults, they were served strips of flesh which were paper thin. But for these men, this wasn't enough. They made a special request to the chef that he serve them the pufferfish liver, the most toxic part of the fish. Well, the next morning, they began to experience symptoms such as vomiting and slowed breathing. Upon being rushed to the hospital, none of the men survived. Number 1. Jonathan Ross a 61-year-old British TV personality known as Jonathan Ross almost died after he ate puffer fish. On one of his many travels, he visited Japan and decided to try the deadly fugu delicacy. Rather than a tiny amount, he ate the fish in 10 separate courses. Although Ross had expected to eat enough just so his lips would tingle, he consumed a little more than that. He experienced more severe symptoms, such as numbness and vomiting. Despite the scare, though, he got better and lived to tell the tale. Would you like to eat pufferfish one day? 